Microsoft seems to be creating a mountain of e-waste. This is a perfectly functioning laptop. This is also a perfectly functioning laptop. This is a laptop with some issues but could be fixed. But all of these laptops are capable of running Windows 10. But because Microsoft is ending support and not officially allowing Windows 11 to be installed on this older hardware, um, these are effectively going to become e-waste for most people. And I know that there are solutions, workarounds to get Windows 11 to work on things. Um, but generally speaking, um, I don't think people are going to want to you do these workarounds if you're a general user with a general laptop. You're most likely going to be running Windows 10, getting messages popping up saying you must upgrade or your software's not supported. Um, and then you're stuck feeling like you can't use your machine securely, you can't use it for internet purchases, things like that without worrying about it. And it's a real shame because this hardware is, this is fourth gen Intel, these are first gen uh, i3, i5, and they're perfectly capable of running Windows 10. Um, it's not the fastest, but with an SSD it's quick enough. And Windows 11 doesn't need that much more. Of course, there are some additional security requirements, but what's stopping Microsoft from releasing a light version of Windows 11 that could be installed on older hardware? It seems completely odd that Microsoft are happy to just say, yep, yeah, all this hardware is no good. So, you know, get rid of this, get rid of that, get rid of all of these laptops and go out and buy a new one. And then you might say, well, why not put Linux on? And I've done that with this laptop and it runs quite nicely, but I am into um, computers, hardware, software, Windows. I like installing operating systems. I like playing with systems. Most people don't. Um, most people are going to struggle when they can't get the software they want to run on a Linux laptop. And I realize that the world has changed. Everything's online now. So as long as you've got a web browser, most of the time you're fine. But it's for when you're not um, just using the internet and wanting to do some other things that not having Windows becomes a problem for a lot of people. Also, there's the familiarity of Windows for people. Um, they like the look of it. They like knowing where things are. Um, some Linux distributions have become friendlier and more like Windows. A lot of them seem to look a lot like Windows 11, um, which I'm personally not a fan of because I don't really like Windows 11. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like coming along and saying, you know, that TV you've been using. Um, yeah, it doesn't work anymore. You need a new one and there's nothing wrong with your TV. It's just on an old version of Android, for example, or it can't get the latest version of Netflix. It's like stuff breaking and having built in obsolescence, built in um, expiry dates is becoming the norm and becoming acceptable. And it's a bit off topic, but Android TVs that uh, no longer can get the latest updates, um, it's just a real pain that there's no sort of long-term plan for systems anymore. You know, if, for example, you had a car, everyone hates car analogies, um, but if you had a car and it was 10 years old, say, and suddenly they say, oh yeah, it won't work with the petrol anymore, um, there would be uh, outrage, there would be uproar. And I know this has happened with... Um, in the past with old cars and lead and unleaded petrol. Um, but the time frame and the time period of cars running for a very long time is very different to this laptop, which is, I don't know, um, fourth gen Intel. So not very old, really. In excellent condition. Um, it looks great. I think its battery is probably okay. And yeah. It's it's just a great little laptop. And according to Microsoft, 
this isn't good enough anymore. So it's just very disappointing. But anyway, I just thought it was worth talking about because there seems to be just a general acceptance of what's happening. And yes, Microsoft are extending support for a year if you're going to pay $30. But what are people supposed to do with, um, you know, these laptops probably aren't really worth that much. Um, and spending another $30 on it is makes it even more expensive. And you think, well, some people will think, oh, I may as well put that $30 towards their Windows 11 laptop. And it just, it just um, seems quite extreme that we're in this situation. And I guess it's happened before, um, but not to the same extent. I think that's the main difference here is that Yes, you're all, you had to upgrade Windows 7 to get security when that was abandoned, but you could upgrade your hardware, install Windows 10, and off you go with the same hardware. This time, they're saying your hardware is not okay, when actually it is. You know, this is working, but according to Microsoft, it's not good enough. Um, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments. What is your solution to this? It's making it really difficult to sort out people's computers and say, oh yeah, I've had a look at your Windows 10 PC. It's fixed, it's all up and running, knowing that uh, October next year, 2025, they're, not, they're gonna get big messages saying your computer is no longer supported, no longer updated. Please pay Microsoft some money. Um, What's going to happen then? And where are these people going to go with their computers? Because a shop isn't going to want to like PC World, for example. They're going to tell them to buy a new PC. It's just um, really kind of at odds with what, you know, Bill Gates is doing nowadays, trying to save the world. Microsoft, on the other hand, just doesn't care about all of this e-waste. So anyway, um, that's what I'm thinking about at the moment and thought I'd just post this and while I've got these machines that I think are quite nice, but Microsoft thinks otherwise. So let me know what you think in the comments and let me know what you're planning on doing with older machines, keep them running Windows 10 or switch to Linux or maybe set up uh, uh, Mac OS on something or what? Let me know below. Thanks for watching. Bye.